Malik, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Good, bud. Malik, can you talk a little bit about uh, defense this year? Maybe uh, what's the differences for you, if any, in this defense? Mm -hmm. uh, the difference right now, is, as far as learning everything right now, is, is totally fast. You know, from what Coach Hall has come in and established off top, he want, he established already to the whole team that he want, want us to play fast no matter what, no matter what's going on. So he want up-tempo. And we're going to play fast, play hard, and we're just going to play ball. That's it. Well, uh, could you go ahead, Pat. No, I, I, uh, the the man to man coverage aspect of this defense, how has that changed things uh, for you? Uh, it, it's put a lot of things easier now. Uh, I'm, I'm understanding everything. I'm being more patient when it comes to being man to man and everything. And I really, real coach, Coach O'Brien has really helped me settle down to be patient in the secondary with my man-to-man -man coverage, and he helps me a lot. Malik, to piggyback off that, could you kind of talk a little bit about what Coach O'Brien's brought to that room and where you feel he's helped you most out on the field? Mm -hmm. uh, well, really, Coach O'Brien helped me uh, really just about everything coming in because, like I said, we got a whole new scheme now. So we got to learn a totally new defense. And uh, he helped me with his technique, uh, being patient, knowing what to read and when to read it. And, and just after that, once I read it and know what I'm doing, he just wants us to play fast and, and be ourselves and play within ourselves and our talent and technique. Malik, in years past, looked like maybe the last two years, there was some probably maybe some communication issues between the, you know, the safety sometimes and the corners. How do you feel that's going with these, with a new corner coach and a new safety coach? Uh, it's going good, to be honest. It's just – they give us the tools. We just got to go out there and communicate and execute on our part. So as far as it's not even the coaches, to be honest, because when we in meeting, we all in meeting, we understand and uh, we know what we're doing just so far. But it just, you know, we get out, out there on the field. Sometimes we get a little lack of daisy and we have a brain fart. So and that, that causes miscommunication. We get tired so and, and start to get sluggish and we start to fall off a little bit. But we always got to remind ourselves that. We got to play fast and always communicate so we can be in the right spot and make the right plays. Malik, is that something um, with the departure of guys like Hemby that y'all have been kind of uh, checking in spring practice to see who's stepping up and being a vocal leader for the secondary? Uh, most definitely, you know, Hemby was a key part for us last year. Uh, he was a leader and most of overall a friend of mine that always helped me and, and knowing what I was doing. So. But right now we have a lot of guys stepping up. J.D. Rockford, uh, Rue Scott Ray, uh, Jay Stanley. All them guys are really stepping up. We're learning the whole new system. Uh, really, J.D. is having a, a, to me, to be honest, J.D. is having a, a, one of the best springs out of all the safety, all the safeties, to be honest. Uh, but as far as that, yes, it, it really helping us. And uh, we're trying to really figure out who would be that guy. How do you see the corners adjusting to man-to-man? -man? Are they are they kind of embracing that? Or are they playing well? How would you describe it? Uh, to be honest, I think our corners love man-to-man. -man. They really love it. Uh, every time, I really don't even have to help them out. Most, for the most part, they always out there by themselves on the island. They got it locked down. So I trust in my corners. I believe in when it comes to man-to-man. -man. I know I want to help them. So they, we got some dogs out there, and they really good on the edge. Yeah. Coach Joseph, how y'all doing? Good, Coach. How are how you? How about you, Coach? Hey, Coach. Good. Uh, coach, how would you uh, describe your uh, running back at this point in the spring? I say we're making uh, improvements each and every day. I about to say each one of them brings a little different uh, skill, special skill set to the table. Uh, you got Frank, who's more of an all-around back, uh, kind of like Mayberry is too. Mayberry probably is a step bit faster. And then you got some speedsters like. Uh, and Tavius Willis and also D Baker, who can help out stretch the defense out, get the ball in the edge quick. So each day we're getting better and better. So just trying to help everybody learn the offense and get everything situated and settled. Coach, who has been the uh was the biggest surprise, but maybe in your opinion so far has had the best spring out of out of your running back? Uh my biggest surprise so far has actually been D Baker. Uh I put a lot on him coming into this uh this year as far as being more physical at the point of attack, uh, running with more aggression. And he's actually answered the call. I mean, Coach Hall gave him some kudos and praise after practice one day just for how more, how much more physical he was playing. So as far as my surprise, surprising who I'm 
most proud of right now is D Baker. But all all three of them playing at a high level. Uh, Coach uh, Darius Mayberry is a guy that's kind of battled injuries off and on and had different kind of setbacks. Uh, where would you uh, – obviously, it's your first year with him. But, I mean, uh, where would you say he kind of stands right now in terms of how he can fit into what y'all want to do? Well, Mayberry actually uh, reminds me a lot of the backs we probably had at Tulane. He's a very shifty guy. He's a smart guy also, too. He can see things happening before the play even happens. So I think he'll fit right in. Uh, I know you talked about him battling injuries, but we have a great training staff here. It's going to make sure we keep him on the field as much as possible. And not to mention, uh, him between him, Frank, uh, Willis, and D. Baker, I think we'll be able to spread the carries around so they'll be fine. Coach, you mentioned Willis right then. How has the transition back to running back been for him? And uh, how is that going, coaching him so far? It's been good. Well, Rambo also played a – that's a nickname. He also played a quarterback in high school, so he had to learn everything anyway. So the transition from a mental standpoint really wasn't that different. Uh, obviously, it's a little different game, right, instead of playing out on the edge, having to play between the tackles, uh, helping him get his weight up a little bit more. But he's been doing fine so far. Hey, Coach Joseph, um, you mentioned that just the running back room, there's a lot of different skill sets for each player. So for coaches, you know, how do y'all embrace that and try to get the players uh, utilized in the offense? Well, that's kind of that's part of the reason why we get hired is to try to put our players in the best situation uh, to succeed, you know. So, so for example, we have a speed sweep, might be more of a D Baker play, right? We have more of an outside zone deal, we might have, have a cutback, it might be more of a Frank Gore play. We might have to run a power play, it might be more of a Mayberry play, and just so on and so forth, right? Basically, what, what they show that they can do is what we're going to try to do, have them do just to put them in the best possible situation to succeed. Coach Joseph, could you tell us where your um, where your areas are with Southern Miss right now and, you know, your thoughts on that? Oh, I said you, you timed out. Say, can you repeat your question again? Uh, your, where your recruiting area is, Coach, and, uh, you know, just your thoughts on that about that area and, you know, maybe, maybe what you bring to the table there being a Louisiana guy. Okay. So my recruiting area is actually uh, the Natchez area in uh, Mississippi and then on down throughout Louisiana. So I catch the Felicianas, Baton Rouge, all the way down through Lafayette and Iberia Parish. So I'm from New Iberia, so that's kind of where I grew up at. So I know a lot of those coaches from whenever I was playing. Uh, and then also from my time in New Orleans, having to do some recruiting there also as well. So I think I, I can find those diamonds in the rough, especially in those small towns of Louisiana, just like we've done, some, done such a good job here in Mississippi, finding guys here that can play at a high level. Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, Darius, what's up? Hey, you know, what's hey, up, Darius? How you doing, buddy? How y'all doing? Good. Uh, Darius, how would you uh, describe this spring for you? Uh, how are things going? Uh, it's beautiful. The team is coming together fine. It's, we're excited. Really excited. Darius, like can you talk? Adult? Go ahead. Darius, can you talk about your role in the running back group? Um, what is your what what do you specialize in? Uh, I don't. I mean, I don't specialize in anything. We all bring each other up. We all help each other get better. Our, uh, iron sharp as iron. We're just helping each other get better. Is, uh, this spring, does this feel like you're getting your shot? You know, you're getting your a uh, 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 good share of uh, touches, and that you're kind of getting that opportunity to prove yourself. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like I'm not doing anything. The whole line doing all the work. It looked beautiful out there. Uh, you know, it's been kind of a, a, a career for you where things, different setbacks have kind of gotten in the way. Does it feel like everything's kind of coming together for you and this is going to be a, a chance to kind of uh, get your time to shine? Yeah, it feels good. Uh, only, only God knows, though. Only God knows. Darius, could you talk about uh, in this offense how they use you guys uh, – it looks like more as receivers than maybe the, the previous offenses. Uh, I feel like we're, we're definitely getting used more in the offense and uh, everybody's getting used, but it's also, it's just a good look for everybody. We're, we're all flying around, just having fun. I feel like we're going to have a good year though, for sure. There is. Um, could you just talk about, what the new coaching staff and Coach Hall's just attitude, that whole attitude is everything motto has kind of had an impact oh on the players. Goodness. Oh my goodness. This is, it's just a whole different environment. It's just everybody's so excited to come to work. It's just, it's just beautiful. It's like, it's not, 
nobody nobody comes up here and complains. It's just let's get to work. Let's go. Let's go to work. Let's go out there and get this money. Offense is helping defense. Defense is helping offense. It's just beautiful out there. Yes, sir. Environment, energy, no positive. No, I mean no negative energy. None of that. Positive vibes only. <laughs> I think you're the the biggest back of the running backs. Uh, what you know? What you know? It's a little on the small side there, at running back. But do you think that's? Do you think that even matters? Uh, no, nah, it's all mindset. I ain't I ain't the biggest. Uh, my boy Jimmy Haywood, he the biggest. But uh, no, nah, it's all about mindset. <laughs>